Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In the last video, I showed you how to create 18 different time intelligence calculations within a few seconds using the Timdil script. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Timdil script along with Copilot and create new calculations even if you don't know DAX. I'm going to show you five different techniques where you can use the Timdil script along with Copilot and enhance your creativity. So let's get started with this tutorial. So like I said in the last video, I showed you how to create these 18 different time intelligence functions like your year to date, month to date, quarter to date, month on month growth, year on year growth, same period last year, etc. Now let's say that you have a new requirement where you need to add a rolling 90 day calculation in your calculation group. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's head over to the Tim Dill view and let's drag in the time intelligence into our script. I now have the Tim Dill script for the time intelligence that we created. I'm going to simply copy this piece of code and head over to Visual Studio Code. Now, if you don't have Visual Studio Code installed in your machine, then you can simply download this. I will leave a link in the description below. Do check it out. It's available for free. You can download this. I'm going to open Visual Studio Code and then click, click on file here and select new text 5. There are multiple ways to do this. You can either save your Power BI file as a PBIP file and open the entire folder itself. But unfortunately, as of now, as of 24th February 2025, we don't have an option where you make any changes to the Timdil script, it will automatically appear in Power BI. So I'm hoping in near future, we will get an update where you make any change here in the Visual Studio code that will automatically reflect in the Power BI model. So until then, I'm going to use this manual method. I'm going to paste the piece of Timdil script that we just copied. And then I'm going to select the entire piece of code here and then right click and you have an option here called Copilot and then choose the option here which says editor inline chat. I'm going to select this and now I can ask Copilot to modify my piece of code and I will simply type in add a new calculation for rolling 90 days and then click on enter. Once you do that it's going to take a couple of seconds and it will automatically add a new calculation item in your code. Let's give it a second. And we have our new calculation item added called rolling 90 days. And once you are okay with this, you can simply click on this accept button and it will be added to your code. And I'm gonna click on accept again. And then I'm gonna copy the entire piece of code here. Come back into Power BI. I'm going to replace the code that I have and hit the apply button. Once I do this, it's asking me to refresh the calculation groups and let's click on refresh now. And now if I go back to my report view, you will see that I've now added a new calculation measure here called rolling 90 days. How cool is this? Even if you don't know to write DAX, you can make use of Timdil script along with Copilot to create your measures. Now let's move on to our next use case. I have a calendar table in my model which has date year and month number. I only have these three fields here. However, I would like to add in more fields here like your week number or month name or your fiscal year, etc. So let us see how we can easily create this using Timdil view along with Copilot. So I'm going to go here into my Timdil view, drag in the, go to the table section and drag in the calendar table in here. And once I have this piece of code, I'm going to simply copy this, head back into Visual Studio code, go to file, new text file, paste this piece of code here. I'm going to select the entire code here, right click, go to Copilot, editor inline chat, or you can simply press Control plus I. I'm going to enter the prompt here which says add more fields to my table like month, quarter, week number, fiscal year, year to date flag, month to date flag, quarter to date flag, etc. You can change this or modify this based on your requirements. Once I've done that, I can simply hit the send button or press the enter button. All of these new fields are getting added to our code here. And once all of this is done, you can simply review this, scroll up and then just click on accept here and take a look at the piece of code that you have. The fiscal year is being calculated based on the month of July here in this case. Let us say for example, I want to change the fiscal year. My fiscal year starts from the month of April. So let us see how we can change this. I'm gonna select the piece of code here again. Right click, go to Copilot, Control I or use the inline editor chat. I'm gonna say, Fiscal year starts from 1st April and then click on enter. 
And now you can see that Copilot is doing its magic. The piece of code is now changed. It's now asking me to review if this is fine. I can simply click on accept. Once this is done, simply copy the entire piece of code, head back into Power BI, replace the code that we have and then hit the apply button. And now let's hit the refresh now. Let's go to our table view. And now if we take a look at the calendar table, you will see that we've added all of these fields here. We've added the month name, quarter, week number, fiscal year, year to date flag, month to date flag, quarter to date flag, etc. Now, all of this is possible by simply giving in a prompt to Copilot, and the Copilot is going to make all the changes for us in the Tyndale View script. How cool is that? Now let's head to our next use case. In my model, you will see that I have a lot of measures in here and I don't know what these measures are. And let's say that I want to remove all of these measures at once. So if you have to do this manually, it's a time consuming task. So let's go to the Timdel view. In the Timdel view, I'm going to bring in the order dates table. This is the table where I have all the measures. So I'm going to bring in this table here into the Timdel view. And once I have this piece of code, I'm going to copy this, head over to my Visual Studio code, go to file, new text file, paste this, and I'm going to select the entire code, press Ctrl and I to bring in the copilot here. And then I'm going to type in saying, remove all the measures from my table and then click on enter. Pilot took a few seconds to make all of those changes and once it is done, it's now asking me to accept this code. I'm gonna click on accept here and now I'm going to copy this and head back into my Power BI report, paste this piece of code and then click on apply. Now let's go back into my report view and you can see that my orders table is now clean and does not have any measures in my table. Now let's head over to our next use case scenario. In our previous example, we looked at creating a calculation group, but let's say that your requirement now is to create individual calculations. So let us see how we can create individual measures using Timdil. I'm going to go back into my Timdil view, go to VS Code here. We already have this piece of code here where we removed all the measures. I'm going to select the code here again, and I'm going to right click, go to Copilot here and say, generate total sales measure to sum the sales field and then click on enter and just wait for a second while it generates a new measure. A new measure is generated and then all you have to do is click on this exit button. Now that our total sales measure is created, let's add in another prompt here and ask Copilot to generate time intelligence measures for sales using the total sales measure. I'm gonna define that and say, I'm gonna say total sales measure and create year over year percentage, month to date, year to date, previous year, rolling 90 days, etc. And then let's click enter and see what happens. And you can see that how nicely Copilot is generating all of these measures for us. And once all of these measures are created, I'm gonna hit the exit button here and let's select the entire code, go back into Power BI, head to the Timdel view, paste this piece of code here and now you can see that there is an error and now when i hover over this code here it says that unexpected didn't so let us see how we can fix this i'm now back in the vs code and what i'm gonna do here is just press ctrl and i to bring back copilot and say indent this for power bi timdel view so now what this is doing is it's basically indenting all of the code for me once i have this ready all i can do is and now I can simply copy this piece of code, go back into Power BI, paste this and hit the apply button. Once I do that, and you can see that, let's go back into our report view and you will see that we've now created new measures here, MTD sales, previous month sales, previous year sales, rolling 90 days sales, total sales, year over year sales, YTD sales, etc. All of these measures are created by just giving in prompt to Copilot. Now let's move on to our next use case. Now that we have added all of these measures here, I would like to format these measures wherein my absolute values have dollar prefix and they have one decimal and my percentage values have percentage are formatted as percentages. So let us see how we can do this. I'm going to first of all go into my one of the measure and format this so that I get format string in my Timdil view. I'm gonna show you that. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change this into currency and add or change this into one decimal. And now that it is done, I'm gonna to go to the Timdil view, 
and bring in the order dates into my team deal view here i now have the entire code i'm going to simply copy this the reason why i'm doing this manually or why i changed the format of one of the measure is because when i have not defined the format string here in my copilot i'm not getting the right indent and right format string so that is why i've decided to sort of create or format one measure and then so that copilot can replicate the same indent and same format for the rest of the measures so i'm going to clear this here and then paste the code that i just copied now that i've copied or pasted the entire code here let me click on escape and what i'm going to do here is you can see that my your or ytd sales has the format string here and my rest of the measures do not have the format string which means that they are not formatted so I'm going to quickly select all of the measures that I have here and press Ctrl and I and then enter the prompt that I have here for measures with absolute numbers add format string to format with one decimal and prefix a dollar sign and for percentages format as percentage with two decimals and then let's click on enter and give it a second while this generates. And now you can see that our format strings have been generated. I'm going to click on accept code and then select the entire code. Go back into Power BI. I'm going to paste, I'm going to add a new script here, paste this piece of code and then click on apply button. Let's go back to our report view. And now you can see that we've automatically added the dollar sign here and percentage has been added here as well. If I bring in MTD sales here, you can see that dollar sign is now prefixed with one decimal appearing and there you have it timdil plus copilot is truly a game changer for power bi saving time automating tasks and making model management easier than ever if you found this helpful don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more power bi magic and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on the latest tricks got any crazy timdil plus copilot use cases in mind drop them in the comments i would love to hear your thoughts see you in the next one